It would be so much easier for me to just talk about the non-existent Comey takes. President Trump finally admitting yesterday that there are no tapes. I think maybe 10 people in America might be surprised by that. Why did he do it? Because he was taunting Comey. It was kind of a brushback pitch. He let the guessing game go on and on and on. Think how many hours and hours of airtime and how many acres of newsprint have been devoted to this. But let's put that aside because I think a much more important issue is health care with the Senate Republicans finally unveiling their bill yesterday. And it's in trouble. It's in trouble uh, in part because several Republican senators are saying they can't vote for this. And Mitch McConnell can only afford to lose two. And the Democrats are having a field day, not just attacking uh, the health care bill to repeal and replace Obamacare on the substance, but attacking the process, saying that this has been way too secretive. Why has nobody seen this bill until yesterday? Ten hours debate, uh, says Chuck Schumer, is not enough. This is the shame on the Senate. Uh, says the Senate Minority Leader. Uh, and it is it was such hypocrisy here because when the Democrats were ramming through Obamacare in, in 2010, yes, they did a little bit better. They held hearings in the Senate and apparently planning no committee hearings. Uh, but the same arguments were made about secrecy and manipulation, not giving the other chance aside to participate, a chance a, a chance to participate, excuse me. Uh, and, and now we see the script flip with the, you know, what McConnell's trying to do is find something that will get it through. But on the substance of it, um, you know, the House bill barely squeaked through because you had this sort of deep, deep division uh, between the conservatives who thought it was Obamacare light and the more moderate members who didn't want to take some of the more drastic steps. So interestingly, McConnell actually preserves, his version at least, preserves the ban on pre-existing conditions and kids can stay on the policy until they're 26. Those were central features of Obamacare. Gets rid of the individual mandate by having no real penalty if you don't buy insurance. But a lot of the fight has to do with tax cuts and with uh, the expansion of Medicaid. And if that's curtailed, will a lot of people be kicked off the rolls? And then you have that Congressional Budget Office score saying that this could, over the years, deprive or result in 20 million people not having coverage. So, uh, you know, basically the Senate is trying to come up with, trying to thread the needle, come up with some workable compromise, probably without a single Democratic vote, that will unite the people uh, on one side who say it goes too far, and then unite conservatives who either don't think it goes far enough or would like to keep it as it is, and then you got to go to a House-Senate conference. This is why legislation is messy. And it's interesting that President Trump, uh, while making some phone calls to senators, is sort of not, is sort of letting McConnell do his thing. Uh, he's not diving into the substance of it. Uh, he has said, this is interesting, he said at that uh, Cedar Rapids rally that he thinks the bill should be more generous, it should have heart, put more money in. I think, uh, I think the president knows that A, he needs to do that if he's going to corral some of these moderates and get the, get the Senate to the 50 plus um, vote threshold but also not to pass a bill that if it were to become law would you know, have such a big impact on people who would lose their coverage that the Republican Party could take a major hit next year. It is complicated, as we all know. Uh, and uh, I think the coverage of this really now needs to get into the substance, not just the politics of it. Yes, the question is, can McConnell actually pull this together by next week and get a vote? But at the same time, we're talking about one fifth of the economy here, and I hope that uh, we'll see some fair coverage of what's in this bill, what's not in this bill, what would uh, it would take to get the bill passed, because this, unlike these various distractions about the Comey tapes and so forth, is something that affects every American and that people really care about.